Hey guys, it's Jay, and I hope you're having an absolutely beautiful day. Oh my god, yes. Somebody in the comments said that they wanted to see more, so it's happening. That's all I needed, just one person to be like, Can you do a let's play, please? And now it's, it's happening. So, I kind of left the game on overnight, and I don't know what's up with the title screen right now. It kind of just uh, let itself go. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so happy. Oh, guys, you have no idea how much I wanted to do Let's Play on this. But the only downside to me doing the Let's Play on this is that I can only play it, like, once a day, and I can't binge the whole thing, so it's your fault. <laughs> it's your fault. By the way, the first episode of this series, which I'm, I still haven't renamed yet, but I will. I'll get to that. I'll get to that once. Oh, oh there's so much to talk about. Uh, I got my first likes, and I got my first, like, five people subscribed to my channel because of that episode and so thank you and also like you five people you didn't just subscribe and like just barely watch the videos or whatever you watched the whole freaking thing i only had like 30 views on the video but the watch time is over three hours long which tells me a few people watched it like the whole thing so <laughs> oh god I, I just can't wait to get into this like so okay I'm curious because we need to get launch codes. Do we, do we have to get launch codes still? No. Oh, ah. Oh, hold up. You're going to want to get the launch codes <laughs> before the observatory first. Oh, well, uh, um, uh, oh, I don't know what option to say here. Um, oh, d d did I just die or, uh, no? Did you have a bad dream or something? I won't ask you how you got the code, so hurry up and launch before Hornfels decides to ground you for medical reasons. I want to see whether the new cockpit stays attached during liftoff. <laughs> it just has such a charm to it. I want to see if the cockpit... <laughs> oh, that's so... Oh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. It, like, literally, as I'm saying, it has this little charm. It just... It just gets better. You could roast marshmallow. Best game mechanic in, in the entire world. You could roast marshmallows. I, I'm sorry. Doom Eternal, get out of here. You could roast marshmallows in Outer Wilds. You don't have nothing on this game. Oh my god. Okay, so... <laughs> Alright, wh where did we leave off in the last episode? I'm trying to remember right now. Um, So, what we did last episode, I believe, is we took a look at this weird thing with the seed in Dark Bramble. Like, the seed was playing the same harmonic symbol symbol signal that dark bramble is playing and supposedly there's one instrument per traveler and hold on yeah yeah okay harmonica okay so if you put two and two together right you put two and two together then that means we're gonna have to go to the bramble to find that why is that thing over there now? I thought that orbited our planet. Okay. Where's Bramble? Bramble's there. Okay. Um, Bramble, Bramble, br 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 Bramble. Okay, right over here. Autopilot, let's go. Let's go straight to it. Straight to it. Sure. No, it looks safe. Looks like we are on a safe route. A very safe route. Don't hit the comet. Don't hit the comet, autopilot. Don't do it. God, I, I... We could land on that comet, too, by the way. And we could, like, explore everything. Oh, man. This is gonna be so cool. So, I'm guessing if... Hmm. Well, I guess if I just keep following the sound, I should be okay, right? Whoa, 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 whoa. Um... Is there anything on the surface? I mean, I'm more intrigued to go into this hole. I mean, it looks like a pretty small hole. But if I know anything from playing the alpha, this place probably is gonna be more nightmare fuel than, oh, where, where is it? Where is it? Oh, down there, okay. Go down. Oh god. Oh god. I regret going in here. I regret dearly going in here now. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. I don't like it one bit. Uh, just boost towards the light. 
Oh god. Please be the right light. Please be the right light. It, okay, it's another. Th it's another thing. Something tells me we're not in Kansas anymore. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Go through here. Oh God. I right, just boost towards it. Boost towards it. I'm so scared. There's so many lights. So many thorns. Oh no. Okay. Um Shoot it. Yeah. Guys, I don't like this. Go in the hole. Go in the hole. Please go in the hole. Aim it a little bit. Hazard. Yeah, I know there's a hazard. No shit. Please, just get in the hole. There. Okay, duplicate signal. Alright, so... We can go towards that light. We can go in that one. Okay. God, this is just a fucking maze and a half. Okay. I guess we're supposed to go towards that light. Oh god. Going towards the light is what people do when they when they're about to die. Oh no! Oh no! Oh wait, oh wait a second. Oh, it's, it's, okay. Oh, 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 oh okay. All right, it, it's, it's just a skeleton. I thought, I thought we were about to die there. I'm sorry, but I thought we were about to die because I don't want to say it, but in the alpha, Dark Bramble had a bunch of fucking anglerfish inside of it. And the anglerfish had lights that looked like the lights you were supposed to go to. And if you got too close to them, I don't think it takes a rocket biologist uh, for, for you to figure out what happens. So, is there somebody actually down there? Oh, whoa, 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 don't drift. Stop that, stop that. All right, now, there's no gravity in here, at least I don't think. Here, let's land in this nice little area right over here. Right. Hey, come on. Come on, come on. Down. All right, all right how about we just don't, don't crash the ship. Oh, wait, that, there is a guy. Okay, there is a guy. Let's get out. Fuck, I hate this planet. <laughs> okay. All right, open the hatch. Oh god, I don't know how long I want these episodes to be either. Ho hopefully long as possible. I don't I don't know how to gauge them or anything like that. A fire in a place like this. So, uh Feldspar. How are you, Feldspar? Whoa. Where would you come from? No one's come in here, and, well, ever, actually. That makes you the second Harthian to reach the Dark Bramble, after me, of course. Well done. Say, it's you. They made you an astronaut, and you haven't blown yourself up yet? Good for you. Um, yeah, we all, we all thought you were dead for sure. What? Me? Killed off by thorny extra-dimensional plants that entirely violate the laws of space-time? And a couple of giant predatory fish with gaping maws and enormously sharp fangs. Not in this lifetime, little buddy. <laughs> uh, I set up a camp here when my ship got stuck here in Dark Bramble. I've been living off the land ever since. Um, got stuck? But aren't you the greatest pilot in Harthian history? <laughs> you flatter me, I like it. I came to Dark Bramble for an excitement. I just finished exploring the core of Giants Deep and they needed a new challenge, and none of us had ever gone farther than Dark Bramble's ice field, so I thought, hey, let's give it a try. I've been cruising for a while, dodging the odd massive interdimensional vine bristling with thorns, when I run into a huge anglerfish, the biggest I've ever seen. I pull a few stunts to try to shake the thing off, nothing too fancy, and I'm going full speed when the fish clips me, knocking me into a vine and, well, like I said, I crash. 
Blammo! On the impact, my ship starts making noises and it's coming from the inside. And I think, well, that ain't great. Sure enough, I barely get out of there before the electrical system starts sparkling like crazy. It's either move fast or die unpleasantly, so I had to put a little distance between me and my poor fried ship. I camped out out near where I crashed at first, found the skeleton later, great find, would have been stupid not to use it. So I moved my setup over here and planted an emergency tree seeds, been here ever since. I, Honestly, yeah, I, I can't believe you didn't, I, I can't believe you didn't die. You know, in the old days, I used to think the same thing every time I came back from, fl <laughs> from flight in one piece. Uh, <laughs> these days I'm used to it. Anyways, it all went down. Uh, that, that's how it all went down, Hatchling. Story's over, but feel free to stay and enjoy the fire a while. Or don't. Fire's not going anywhere. Anything else? Um, what should I explore here? That's the spirit. Anywhere is good, but you should know that the space is very weird here. Intensely. Ever tried throwing your probe into one of these weird seeds and see there with the little opening? It's just big enough to launch one through. Your probe tracker will tell you that the probe is in two places at once, but I don't think that's wrong exactly, because space doesn't work right in here. The seed looks small, but see, inside, it's bigger. Much bigger. I've had a lot of time to think about this, and my theory is space in Dark Bramble kind of expands as you go through each sphere. That's why it's bigger inside those seeds. Well, that's my theory. Keep it in mind that while you're exploring Dark Bramble, maybe you won't get lost side forever. Okay, good luck. Um, marshmallow stick. Is there anything else? I want to learn more. Um, yeah. So what? Shouldn't I tell ground control? Well, I'm in a time loop, so I don't think that would matter. Angler fish reach the core giant. Seed. How'd you do it? I want giant steep core. Uh, that was a wild one. But since you're asking, I gotta assume you haven't made it down there yourself yet, right? If I tell you how. It kind of feels like cheating. Hmm. On a completely unrelated note, that sure was a big hollow vine my ship crashed into. Yep. If I were you, I'd go take a walk and see where it ends. If you want to go to the tail end of this anglerfish skeleton here and look for a flickering light in the fog, that'll be my old ship. Path starts there. Alright, Feldspar. Alright. And you know what? Let's make a tradition. After every new traveler, we, we, we roast a marshmallow. You know, even in a creepy-ass place like this. It was a mistake coming here first. I should have gone to another planet. I hate it. I, I just feel... Th like, this doesn't give off, like, welcoming vibes. I'm not, I'm not vibing with this whole place right now. I guess we could get rid of our scout since it's right there. But, hold on. Duplicate signal ship. But I just recalled my shot. What? 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 What are you? What do you? Wh what do you mean? What's this all about? I mean, it, this probably just leads back to the same place, right? Yeah, just leads back to the same place. Like I thought. That's okay. Um. All right. Duplicate signal ship. That's why it says duplicate ship, because our ship is here, and it's also in that seed, but it's also here, but it's also in that seed, but it's also here, but it's also in the seed as well. Alright. I don't feel safe going anywhere with just, uh, there could be more anglers here. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh God, please. So, I'm guessing that light is his ship. I'm going to pray to stop bumping into the skeleton. Stop. Am I getting stuck? What's going on? Thank you. Okay. Oh, that is his ship. Okay. Um. Okay, so. Yeah, it did definitely bump into a vine. Can I just move it out of the way? Okay, then. Um, apparently that was not okay to touch. That was, uh. Oh! 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 Oh god, I don't like that feeling. Oh no, I don't like that feeling one bit. No. Okay, alright, alright, let's just go to the vine. Let's just go to the vine. Oh god, I don't like that feeling. Let's go to the vine. Oh, we'll come back for the ship. We'll come back for the ship. Alright, vine. 
Alright. Uh oh, please be no angler fish in here. Please be no angler fish in here. Oh my god, I hate this. This is not the kind of tunnel you go down if you're going to live. This is not the kind of tunnel you go down if you have a need for your life. Or if you have a sense of self-worth. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a second. Well, now we see the planet thing again. Keep going. Let me up. Let me up. 0.4 gravity. Does that mean we're outside now? Um. Oh, shit. I think we are. These are the ice. Th that's space. We're outside. But that doesn't make sense because we only went outside of a vine. And if we only went outside of a vine... Well, we went, like, through several holes. Like, we went through at least three. Or I could be wrong. Don't Don't quote me on that. I don't... Okay. Um... Trip, four. Entry, I'm gonna say not one. Crashes, three. Boring crashes, zero. A personal best. Whoa, ho! I never thought I'd see one of my besties outside of Giant's Deep. They were awfully useful back there. Maybe a jellyfish could be useful here, too. Blah! <laughs> uh, this tastes terrible. The outside of this is all rubbery and tough. Maybe that's because it insulates the jellyfish insides from getting zapped by electricity. Right. I'm going inside of this jellyfish's interior cavity to see what's in there tastes any better. <laughs> you, you, a jellyfish. Such a weird thing. Why a jellyfish on dark bramble? Because it, this doesn't really seem like the kind of, uh... Ooh. Hello. Note to Feldspar. Do not eat this, even if you are dying! It would be sad if this were the last thing you ever ate in your life. I guess these jellyfish are only useful for insulation from electricity. Again, do not eat. Love <laughs> feldspar. It's kind of a waste of a pickaxe, but also, why would you leave that pickaxe here? Because, but we're inside of the jellyfish right now, so that's a thing. Hmm. All right, so, um. I don't know what to do. Like, our, our ship, air duplicate signal. What? Oh, because that that's where uh, Timber Hearth is, right? Yeah, that's Timber Hearth. Okay. I guess we only have to jump. I guess that's the only other option. Uh, oh, no. Uh. Oh, 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 Lord. I see the light. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> So, do you know what the unpleasant part about being in Dark Bramble is? Being in Dark Bramble. Do you know what the more unpleasant part about being in Dark Bramble is? Being inside of Dark Bramble without a ship. Let's go get our ship back. Let's get our ship back. If uh, I do say so myself. Yeet. Okay. Um, I believe it was one of the duplicate. Yep, the duplicate. Yep, yep. That's the correct seed down there. You want to go over here. Just go back to it. Find our ship. Guys, I'm so scared. Oh my god. Some of these lights aren't as they seem. Oh god, okay. Alright, we're in. Okay, so... Now we just have to go a kilometer this way. I know the oxygen's running out. Please don't remind me of it. Oh, just get back to the ship. Oh, just get back to the ship. Please, I want to get back to the ship. I don't, I don't want to be in here. I don't want to be in here. I don't want to be in here. Please. Boost faster. All right, that's the skeleton. That's the skeleton. We're on the right track. But where's our ship now? Our ship has to be over there. Our ship has to be over there, like floating. Come on. Come on, we can make it. Come on, we can make it. Oh no, it's just gray. It's just gray space. Oh my god, I don't like this. 
This is so not okay. It, who, this is not okay. Like, the developers of this game, I don't appreciate you. Our ship's still broken. Our ship is still broken. We need to repair it. Okay, well, this is a tutorial. Uh, sparking part over here. I only have a little bit of fuel left. Okay, electrical systems. I guess that da it was damaged when we bumped into the other ship. Is it okay now? Tell me it's okay now. Alright, I can at least refuel. Is there anything else wrong with my ship? No? Okay. Oh, look at this. Be see beyond the horizon. Illuminate dark areas. Detect hazards. Test the environment. Is it oh, I guess it's uh, warning about the probe. Okay. Alright, um... Okay. Did we learn anything? Ship log. Feldspar's camp. Frozen jellyfish. So, is there anything else I need to learn from Feldspar? No? Okay. Um, Feldspar documented their attempts. Conducted electricity. Okay, well. Um, I guess we should just get out of here. If we even can. I don't know. We're, like... Okay, here's my way of getting out of here. Oh, okay, all right. So if we, if we, get this, if we, um, let's go around the front. Don't bump into the vines or the thorns, please don't do that. Okay. Because, like, this place is a, this place is a maze, right? So if we shoot one of these seeds into this. Oh, it's such an awkward angle, though. You know what? Actually, I don't think I even need that. Um, I think if I just go into the void this way. Okay, all right, all right. Going fast, a little bit fast. Care to not go that fast? Wait a second. Wait, has it already been? It's already been 22 minutes. I'm looking at the recording. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Where are we? What is happening? Oh god. Alright, let's just go to this red thing then. Whoa! Whoa, no! 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 You could fuck off. No! 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 Okay. Alright, so two evils here. Two evils here. We could either- We could either anglerfish, or we could either supernova. There's no in between. Okay. Red thing. Red thing right now. Please. Please. Please get to it. Into the hole, 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 into the hole! No, 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 I'm, I'm putting down my controller. I'm putting down my controller. No, no. Oh, why aren't these attacking me? Oh, why, why did the other one get all horny? Why did the other one get all, all, all horny? I'm, I'm not touching my controller. I'm not, we're dead. We, we're already dead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god, what's the, oh god, I'm getting out of my, oh, Can't... unable to pinpoint location, so, oh my god, we're just, we're just stuck here, what, 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 raise eject cover, eject, oh, I regret so much. Oh my, here's the supernova. Oh my god. Oh my god. I hate myself. <laughs> Jay, you could have picked any other planet. Jay, you could have gone, you could have gone to the nice green one. You could have gone to the blue one that had the banjo music. You could have gone to any other, you decided to go to the creepiest one. <laughs> Oh my god, this this is giving me this is. If any of the other planets are like this, I'm going I'm going to actually commit Alt F4 in real life. I I don't I can't handle the stress. I cannot handle this kind of stress. This is too much. All right, so we died from the supernova and not anglerfish, but we saw the anglerfish and the anglerfish saw me and I saw the anglerfish and it saw me, and it wanted me. It liked me and it wanted me. Chris Haynes. <laughs> And we're back. <laughs> Alright, um...
Let's go for one more loop, why don't we? Because I don't want to. I don't want to just leave it at 22 minutes. Sure, my render time is gonna be over an hour. Sure, the upload time is gonna be over an hour. But I'm sure you guys want a longer episode as long as as much as I do. Okay, I, I'm sure that was. <laughs> uh, so we just we just checked our ship log. Um, where do we want to go? You know what? That that looks scary too, though. Giants deep looks scary there's no other way i could put it it looks scary i'll go to it though <laughs> okay forget i need to hold it down okay where's giants deep let me just boost off of our planet Woo! into space we go backflip oh oh okay um i saw it it's over here uh autopilot lock on here we go all right, and we should get there because the autopilot and the autopilot never fails and the autopilot will will show me the way so I know from the alpha I know last video I kept calling it the beta it's the alpha that I played okay I'm sorry I saw it as I was editing but I didn't feel like faking a whole like recording record because it was my raw reactions last episode I, I figure I should just leave it in so it's the alpha that I played excuse me uh, excuse me princess um, but in the alpha, Giant's Deep was a water planet. That voice crack. It was a water planet with tornadoes. I've probably been voice cracking, just haven't mentioned it, though. Um. Oh, God. This is, uh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hi. What are you? What are you? I'm going to. Oh, can we. Can we. Autopilot? No. No. Match velocity, then. Okay. Um. Are we now orbiting with it? I would presume so. Let's, uh. Let's get on it. Whoa! Oh, oh, blah, 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 blah. Don't go down on the planet. Just, 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 just land. 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 Land on it. All right, I'm boosting down as much as I can. If the ship comes off, it comes off. I can't do anything about it. Um, I, I have my suit on. I am full on fuel. I'm full on oxygen. That looks creepy, too. Whoa, okay. I, I guess we're, we're just going down this hole. Oh, okay. Pretty straightforward. That was that was trippy. It's like we were moving. Um. Well, ship log updated. Oh shit. So is this like a nomai? Is this a nomai thing? I, I would assume it is. Control module. Okay. Over here is what. Probe tracking module. Alright. Ship log updated. What is this? Launch module. Um. Launch module looks closed off. Like. What's up with you? Oh. Because it is. Like, launch module is fucked. Okay. Um. Let's go to another one then. Uh. Oh, down here looks okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's okay. Slow down. Slow down. It's alright. Alright. Down. Up. Oh, the rotating. The rotating. It gets me. Okay. Trees detected. Oh, at least it has oxygen. Alright, that's nice. Whoa, whoa. Gravity. Whoa. Whoa. Look at that. Okay. Well. Oh, it's like there's two ceilings. Oh, that's cool. That's Nito. That's uh, Nito Kibito. Launch module projection stone. Projection stone. Whoa. Whoa, okay. Whoa. Wait, are we inside the launch module right now? Oh, okay, so we just teleported there. So we could... Uh, uh, or not? Oh my... Oh my god. Oh, it's so cool. It's so cool. It's scary, but it's cool. Like, you can see the planet oh my god it's so cool oh i love it <laughs> oh i love it it's look at this like it's just oh my god there's so much the love about this game and it's just this the places it puts you in like we are in an orbital station and like we're orbiting this thing it just looks so cool from the inside look at that oh i, I appreciate i I, pre I appreciate it so much okay let's Okay. Avens. Mallow. My better 50%. Cassava. 
is sending the last of the cannon components. Soon, relatively speaking, we'll know the eye's precise location. The eye. Okay. Uh, the thought of concluding our elder's curious and challenging search increases my heart's temperature, my love. Kasava tells me uh, he and the construction yard crew have determined a power setting we are not under any circumstances to go above. I see, and I am right to think that consequently we'll be ignoring that setting. I can posit with nearly 100% certainty our friends have accounted for our nature, so I suggest we do. Giving the orbital probe cannon all the power it can structurally withstand creates the greatest chance of finding the eye of the universe. Again, the eye of the universe. Yes, the probe must travel as far as it can, as, as fast as it can, and as far as it can. I'll make some adjustments. Okay. Um, oh, there's another one. Can I set it? Already holding. Oh, I can. Okay. Giant's deep. Giant's deep projections. The planet, it's just its just so cool seeing it like fly around in the background. Okay. I have bad news, Avins. Garo says there was a problem with the proposed power source, so the orbital probe cannon will not be asked to fire. Oh. I hope you're pulling my locomotive limb here, Kasava. I wish I were my friend, but no. They're certain they can they can fix the problem, so the orbital probe cannon is on... Or, they aren't certain, so it is on indefinite hiatus. Okay. Tell... Privet, Privet, and Mallow, they should return from the cannon. My spouse and I will remain in the construction yard for now. An update. Mallow and I will join you in Daz. Pivot, or Privet, left to visit her brother. She fears Aida may be, may feel responsible. Okay, well. Uh, let's, uh, let's look at the giant's deep projection stone. Might look cool. Whoa! Okay. Oh, are these like... Oh, it's it's like a floating island. That's cool. Oh, no, there's water. Okay. And I, I'm going to take a huge gander and say I can't leave this uh, square without it. But there's a lot to explore on the surface. Okay. So I, at least I could go on the surface, right? Um, well, let's, let's boost up here and check out what this is about. Um, it's moving. Oh. Yeah, put the ball in the hole. Ooh, what is that? So that looks like the cannon. Okay, and the cannon angles six minutes, 22 seconds ago. Request to launch probe received from the Ash Twin Project. So that's the Ash Twin Project. Cannon aligned with randomly selected probe trajectory, gravity field activated. So this thing is the Ash Twin project. So I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that's Ash Twin. Hold on, let's take a look at the map. Ash Twin is that one, but it's covered in sand right now. Aha! So all the sand is going to Ember Twin. So Ash Twin, I guess, will eventually look like that because the 22 minute cycle will do that to you. Okay. All right, cool. All right, next one. Down into hold. All right, we have a picture of the cannon, or something like that. A probe is launched, and it breaks apart. But, but that that module broke off completely. Okay. Orbital probe cannon launch request received. Probe launch successful. Probe tracking module is receive, receiving data from the probe. Orbital probe cannon structure compromised during launch, damage to multiple modules detected. Okay. So multiple modules got quick scoped in the event. Right. Um, so there's one orbiting, I guess. Probe cannon damage report. Severe structural stress detected, assessing damage to modules. Intact. For the, right, so the control control module, no structural damage. So that must be the one we're in. Launch module, view port window fractured, module exposed to the vacuum in space. So that's the one that's still connected to the station, and the probe tracking module is missing. What about the last one down there? Can I read that? 
Okay. Is that it? That looks to be it. Alright, so this one's missing. But I saw it fall down in the other one, so it's probably on the planet somewhere. So we could probably go down on the planet and try to find that. Um... Where is the exit? Right there. What? What? Oh, pro jetpack skills right there. Let's get in. Two here. Bam, just like that. Again, I'm really sorry if the game is louder at any point than myself. Um, and you can't hear me talking. Or maybe you don't want to hear me talking and you want to hear the game. I don't know. But uh, if it, it does overtake me at some point, it's out of my control. Um. <laughs> but it's fine. Okay. Um... I'm gonna go up to our ship to refuel, but we have to go to the cracked window module, right? I mean, it does have the window open, so I guess I could go into the window. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna hate. If I if I fall onto the planet while I'm doing this, I'm gonna actually hate myself. Look at this. Oh, oh, this is scary. Oh god. Okay. Oh god. Oh my god. The planet's right there. Is this the module that was broken? I don't know. It doesn't look like it. Where's the other ones? Okay. Alright, there's supposedly one over here. That's the broken one. Okay. That means the last one that got broken but still stayed should be right here. Yeah. Okay. It's all coming together now. Alright, slow down, slow down, slow down. Oh my god! Don't fall on the planet! Don't fall on the planet! Oh! <laughs> okay, alright, let's see, um, can we, oh, oh, gravity, yep, okay, cool. Um, this place has no oxygen, though, so we need to make it snappy, um, catch my drift. Probe tracking module. Oh, so that's the, that's the module that, uh, did the fall, that went down on the planet. Let's see where this is at. Why does everything have to be so scary? Alright, so, electricity, you see blue electricity. We see another statue with its eyes open. Um, okay. Alright, well. I guess that's all I could retain from that. Um, let's let's put stone in the thing. Yeah. Alright. Imagine, privet. If the probe tracking module... Well, no, the, the probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye of the universe. You'll be the first to see them. I am honored and terrified. You won't ask the orbital probe cannon to use so much power that it breaks, will you? Fret not, my nervous friend. We only need to fire the probe once, anyway. So, who minds if it compromises the probe cannon? Uh, the probe cannon's structural integrity, and slightly. <laughs> I would mind, Mallow. I would mind, because we won't be capable of receiving our probe's data if the probe tracking module is destroyed. Well, you know... Privet, Privet, you know, you're not wrong, buddy, because, uh, the probe tracking module's in the, in the planet right now. On the planet, in the planet, by the planet, for the planet, of the planet, I don't know. Uh, last one, whoop, got it, okay. Control module, oh, please, take it. Was this the one that we were just in? It is decidedly so, this is the one that we were just in, okay. Let's take this out, um, and let's put it in the hole, put it in the hole. Yep. Okay. Uh, Mallow. My better 50 per We already read that. Okay. Oh, there's only one way out. Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, God. And the ship is facing towards the gassy part of the planet. I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh <laughs> Okay, hurry, 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 get to the ship while the planet's not underneath it. Uh, uh, okay, we got it. Get into the ship now. Okay, oxygen replenished, refuel the jetpack. We're good. Let's take a look at our ship log. Bada bing, probe cannon. Bada bing, control module. Bada beam, probe tracking module. Bada bing, launch module. Construction yard. Okay, so the probe tracking module blew apart, so it's down on the surface somewhere. Um, construction yard, no my built, an orbital probe cannon, construction yard. Okay, so I guess we should try to find that on Giant's Deep. Alright, guys. Um, 
Moment of truth to go down to the planet. There, there it is again. There it is again. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. You can't escape me this time. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Why are you, why are you around Giant's Deep now, huh? I thought you were a Timber Hearth Moon. Well, what's your deal? Ugh. That's right. That's what I thought. Scaredy little bitch. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, God. Oh, oh. Woo. Oh, my God. This is so awesome. Oh, don't hit them. Don't hit any of them. Don't hit any of them. Okay. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. That I. Did you see that? That island just got yeeted. It just got yeeted right into space. It's so cool. All right. Can I get my bearings? What's that? It's another ship. Oh, that's another ship. Oh, 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 oh. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Somewhere over there. All right, like, over there. Where is he? Where is he? Tell me. Ah, uh, uh, okay. All right, on this island. Okay. Let's go over here. Land it. Land it. Land it. Nailed it. Okay. All right, we have our shoot suit on. Okay, we're good. Welcome to Giant's Deep, where the sky is, uh, not very friendly. I don't, I don't know what to say. Okay. Ah, look at that. Those tornadoes are very menacing. Hi, Gab Gabro? Yeah, Gabro. How you doing, Gabro? I'm scared of tornadoes, Gabro. Are you scared of tornadoes? Nice to see. It's you. Uh... Good to see you made it here in one piece. First solo launch is a doozy, isn't it? So, hey, don't freak out or anything, but lately I keep, like, dying repeatedly. I don't know, it's pretty weird. What about you? Have you died lately, or is it just me? No, it's, it's me too. We're in a time loop. Time has been behaving unusually lately. Yeah, a time loop makes sense. Cool. Uh, you're, you're taking this pretty well. <laughs> right back at you. Personally, I like the new experiences, and I've never been in a time loop before. I mean... I don't think I've been in a time loop before this one. It looks like you and I are the only ones who could tell that time's gone all weird. I tried radioing Hornfells and asking if they died too, but they thought I was being metaphorical. Even if I could tell Hornfells about the time loop, they'll never remember by the next one. They don't realize anything's different. And here's another weird one for you. Every time I die, all of my memories from that loop were played back to me. I'm pretty sure that that's related to the, this big stone Nomai statue I found on one of the other islands. I was looking at it, and the statue opened its eyes and started glowing. It replayed my memories like I had se it's like it had seen them through my own eyes, just like what happened each time I die. That's what happened to me um, with the statue at the museum. You too, huh? And the know my statues must have something to do with why we're the only ones aware of the time loop. So, no glowing statue, no time loop awareness. I think that's going to be my leading theory. But if you find out anything new about the statues of the time loop, let me know. Okay, I'll be here. Anyway. That's what's new with me, but hey, this is your first- what the- <gasps> Oh! 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 Um! Um! Oh! Oh no! Oh no! 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 Okay! Oh! Oh god! I don't know what to do! I don't know what to do! Get the- the ship! 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 Get in the ship! Get in the ship! Get in the ship! We're safe in the ship, right? Get in the ship! Get in the ship! Get in the ship! Buckle up! Buckle up, Buttercup! We're launching! No! Oh! Oh. oh my god. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, it's terrifying, but it's so cool. Oh my god. That kind of interrupted our conversation. Sorry for panicking there. Um, you know, it's all—it's a little bit scary if you get thrown into space by a tornado. Oh god. Oh, that, that was, uh, that was, a, that was a thing. Gabbro, you okay? You're still chilling. This man's still vibing in a hammock. Like, like nothing just happened. Like, he didn't just go into space. Have you ever watched a cyclone for so long? It started to hypnotize you? I'm telling you. They'll put you in a trance if you stare at him long enough. Okay, um... Where should I explore in Giant's Deep? Here's something you might like. At the start of every time loop, I, see, I keep seeing a bright flash in the sky at the start of every loop. Must be something happening up there in the orbit around the planet. What else? What else? Uh, have you seen... Have you been to the Statue Island? That's what I've been calling it. Seeing that it's an island where I found the glowing Nomai statue. Get it? 
I was on the beach on Statue Island, and the whole glowy business happened. And by the way, it's been on the beach. It's a nice beach for that kind of thing. I give it a solid 7 out of 10 on the Gabbro relaxation scale. If you feel like checking out the Statue Island, it's the only one with two islands connected by a natural rock art. Um, well, mostly connected anyway. You'll see. I found something. What you got? Uh, I found what happened to the orbital probe cannon. Whoa, that cannon's been breaking apart at the start of each loop. For real? Did you figure out why? Um, <laughs> over enthusiasm. <laughs> That's kind of scary of how much it sounds like um, Slate and Feldspar do. I'm pretty surprised that nobody built something that actually broke. Come to think of it, broke might be the wrong word because it looks like the orbital probe cannon is still firing successfully at the beginning of each loop. Yeah, you're not wrong. Um, let's statue statue island it up. Ooh, what's this? Ghost matter. Um. Ooh, ooh, yeah, it's right there. Okay, we can't go that way. Come to think of these rocks, were also with the other ghost matter we saw um, with the little boy who was throwing rocks. So that might be a telltale sign. Telltale. I'm sorry. I, I, I stutter sometimes. I don't pronounce things sometimes. I'm human, all right? I'm human just like you. Let's go up this path. I want to see what's up here as well. Gravity is times two, so we're heavier. We're extra thick. We feel jetpack. Thank you. Ooh, marshmallow. Oh, look at that. Tradition. Tradition after we talk to every person. First a marshmallow by the fire. Oh, yeah. Get it nice and, nice and heated up. Nice and heated up. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, whatever, whatever. whatever. <laughs> I burnt it. That's how I eat them in real life. I like them burnt a little bit. Like, if you, if you, if you set the marshmallow on fire and let it burn, so it, like, melts the core, and then you let it cool down, and it gets all goo gooey, that's, like, the best kind of marshmallow. So, yeah. Like, sure, when it browns, that's okay, too, but it's, it's, it, it just burning it. I, I like burnt stuff. Don't judge me. Burnt stuff is okay. All right, um, refuel. Okay, so we have more to explore. Um, for starters, for starters, right? We have down. We could go down to explore. Oh, let's go there. It's the pro. What? Excuse me. Ocean, I don't think. Oh, here's a gap. This is a gap. Let me through. Okay, so I'm going to say with, uh, like, I, I will bet my right leg on the probe tracking module being in there. Now, it looks creepy. I'm, I'm going to throw that out there, but I can't go down to it. So, there's that. Whoa! Well, that's a big tornado right there. That's a big chungus. Uh, what happens if I try to go inside of this one? This one just doesn't like me. This one just pushes me away. It doesn't even throw me up. Can we go underneath? Oh, oh, there's a gap. There's a gap. You sneaky deaky. Oh, no, it won't let me in. So maybe that's the cause of the currents, is this giant one that's spinning. That's really crazy. All right. Um, ooh, there's another island. Looks creepy. It's crazy, because it's like... There's so many tornadoes. Oh my god. Oh, hey, Gabriel, you're about to get. Yep, there he goes. There he goes. Alright. Ooh, look at this. Oh, I hear the music, guys. You know what the music means, right? You know, uh, the music means we're about to die. Um, if we want to put it in simple terms. The tornado's awfully close to the side. Uh, let's take a look. Is there any way to explore? Oh, okay, cool. Ooh. Ooh, this looks cool. Um. Oh, there's the cannon. Look at that. Scroll. Pick up the scroll. Oh, put it in there. This is it. We finished building the final orbital probe cannon module. We're ready to send it into orbit in the giant steep for assembly. Our next step will be to send Privet up to the probe cannon to install the probe tracking system. To all my friends here at the construction yard, my gratitude for your tireless work. I have given up hope, but I truly believe this cannon may actually succeed where other attempts may have not. 
if I know my brother, Avins, and his spouse, we will want to launch the probe with as much power as possible. I'm worried the cannon would break under the strain. I propose that we give Avins and Malice slightly lower maximum power settings to absolute maximize the possible complete room for their- <laughs> That's- that's nice. Like, he, he- he knows that they are going to do that, so... Are you getting ready? Uh, guy, we'll come back here. I think, uh, we're about to die. The- the, the sky went dark. If that's any telltale sign that we're about to die, I mean... It looks cool, though. This stuff is glowing. Oh. Oh, it's lighting back up again. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well... <laughs> Oh god, I'm gonna hate myself. <laughs> this has been a 50 minute episode. Oh, it's gonna take so long to render, but honestly, honestly, it makes it so much worth it to me. That I'm Not only am I excited to play this game, but I'm so excited to show it to other people. I'm so excited to show it to other people. I'm glad that you guys are actually watching, because um, it, it actually means a lot. Um, you, 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 this series is the first one that people are actually watching my channel on. That are, they're actually interacting with my channel. That's nice, because now I actually kind of feel like a, a, a... Even though I have seven subscribers, don't get me wrong. I still feel like a real creator, in a way, because I, I'm entertaining people, and I enjoy doing that. So, uh, thank you. Thank you for watching. Um, I can only assume we're going to wake up next to our... Yep, just like that again. So, um, anyways... Um, I'm going to leave the episode off here. This has been Jay, and once again, I hope you guys have an absolutely beautiful day. And a beautiful day. Thank you for watching.